Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Incredible Paradise. I almost have power. I just don't have any exhaust yet. So we are working on that. We are shipping over stuff. The gas tanks are full. In fact, I think this rocket just landed. All right, what do we got? I don't think I had anything in there. All sorts of good stuff. Lots of liquid. So yeah, this just landed. We're loading up the oxygen. The fuel system's working. Oh, and I got a suggestion over here that I should do. Now that we have lots and lots of thermium, that should be a mesh tile to stop stuff from uh, solidifying. Did that work? Oh, whatever. We'll take care of that. Over here, we are shipping all the stuff. I was smart and hooked the automation up to the gas, because the gas is what I want to control. The solids, I just want to keep shooting. And pretty much each one of these shooting once is enough for this to fire. So that's working out quite well. See? There it goes. So yeah, all that comes over here, gets loaded up, gets dumped out. I've got a bit of oxygen leaking out of here to help keep all this cool. And that also produces me more hydrogen. And once we get this exhaust going, then I will have pretty much infinite power over here and I can start working on heating the place up. But yeah, as soon as they build that canister, that should absorb quite a bit of gas. Oh, and just a pipe. There we go. Now we got power. Now we need transformers. I just realized 940 cycles. This is the first battery stack I've done on this playthrough. So, good on me for not going back to the same thing every time. Alright, now we gotta hook up all this power to things. And I think that'll work out great. That'll also give me lots of extra hydrogen because this room is actually running out. Once I can feed the oxygen system off of the main power. And then I can also warm this up to get more warm water out of things. And this is a hot salt geyser, so I can use that for heat. Whole bunch of stuff I can do. I just got to get my dupes to build it first. And I don't have very many dupes over here. But this rocket's probably reloaded. Almost. And now with 200 bits of oxygen. And which one of these has? Artifact. Recharge 36. Recharge 47. Neither one. What are you? Oh, I didn't realize that there were... Th I thought this was uh, the one with copper. I thought that was the exploded... Do I not have one of those? Oh, I thought this was the exploded ship, but no, that's another tungsten one. Heck yeah, we're going there. What's the distance? 14. Perfect. I mean, really, by the time I do get here, it'll probably be full enough. Just gotta make sure I deal with the suit. Oh, perfect. Well, I had that enabled. And you've got food. Now you've got power. Oxygen. All right. There we go. We're now running all of the oxygen system off of external power, so we shouldn't burn any more hydrogen. We can store all that up. And I can start cleaning up this polluted oxygen. And yeah, let's get some... Pips dug up and see what the heck we find. What's this geyser? I think I looked this up. I think it's the polluted oxygen. Oh, there we go. Nice little warming, cooling loop will go in. And that should help get everything growing. And I can store a bunch of water. How are my other plants doing? Problem is you get focused on a new planet, you're just like, what? 
What the heck is going on? Nobody's over here. I want this planet. That water's almost all sucked up. They've almost got all the magma out of here. Nice. Let's move this down. And suck the rest of this out. Well, that's what I did at the end of the last episode. I forgot. I set... I turned all this off so all this could condense, and now it has. So let's reconnect you to power. We came all the way down to 2,200 kilograms of hydrogen. I think I'll be okay. And we're right back to sour gas. Now this stuff is probably a little bit too cold. But as the pressure comes up, that'll start working. Ooh, copper. We'll take that over here. Perfect. And apparently I don't have any sand or regolith, so we're going to have to make some of that. God, the saves. All right, and you, not using that much power. Refinement, rock crusher. Yeah, we'll grind up some rocks to dust and we'll be good to go. I just noticed this went dormant for 50 more cycles. But you're raising pressure, so you can start getting some hot salt water out of there. That'll help warm this area up. Four dupes is just not enough to get all the piping done. I think food-wise, we've got a, wherever it is, sulfur geyser. So I'll probably get some Sweetle eggs over here and use that as a food source on this base. Just a whole bunch of Sweetle barbecue. I mean, they produce sucrose or sugar, so you should be able to get some good tasty barbecue sauce out of them. Oh, there it goes. Now we're starting to fill up the warming pipe. I'll have plants planted in no time. Doing another uh, critter kill over here. There were too many critters in here. So, let's just get a whole bunch of meat. I'm just really darn surprised at how well this base is held up for the amount of mess that I've made here. I switch my... I might need to hire more dupes over here just to keep pumping because they're not pumping that fast enough. I mean, we are 900 cycles in and they haven't pumped at all. Okay, did you overheat again or not? Nope, there you go. Yeah, this is not the best sour gas system I've ever built, but it is working absolutely fine. Right, how did a cuddle pip get stuck there? All right, sorry, buddy. That's working fine. My Water filter system seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. All sorts of confusing piping. Back over here. And if I dig that, then this will overheat. Yeah, it's fine. It's coming down, coming down on its own. All right. Well, with the cooling loop done and the power done and stuff being shipped over, I think this area is a perfectly fine place for a Sweetle farm. Let's get digging. I just noticed that when I skill scrubbed my dupe, I lost field researching. So who do we got over here that can help me out? Ari, where's your hat? Well, Ari. 
You're back to doing field research. You were the best option. Yeah, I just decided to crack open the sulfur geyser. It's not gonna do much of anything for a while. I mean, sulfur comes out pretty warm, but surrounded by this much cold. I'll get plenty out of it before I can get some Sweetles over here. Well, I do want to cook over here. Joshua, welcome to your new base. It's going to take him a long time to get skilled up. I might make, make him a gym. In fact, that's a great idea. Furniture. We'll make that Joshua's world for a while. This time I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna put Camille in the suit before this all runs out of oxygen. Because now she's out of power. So no more is coming out of the pipe. That's all working great. How are these guys doing? Oh, look at that. All right, I am finally at a point where I can start taming this volcano. And my dupes like to sit in magma because, you know, it's warm and it's toasty. Get out of there. Still getting around this new Tronum is going to be tough. I think I'm going to do this. I'm trying to think if I can direct cool the tungsten. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yes, yeah, so if I do a temp shift plate made out of... I don't have that much thermium. I have plenty of tungsten now. And if I use the mass of all of these tungsten and obsidian plates, make you out of you out of obsidian, you like that. I see. All I'm trying to do is. Put a whole bunch of mass here to suck the heat out. I think it'll work. And we're gonna find out. Before I uncork the volcano, I think just seeing if this will cool down all this magma is a good test. What do we got in the printing pod? Eh, yeah, nothing I want. But I end up with some magma there. Temperature's coming down, not super quick, but that's fine. Let's see what happens. That's actually working out pretty good. Let's uncork the volcano and see what happens. 
What is unreachable food? Oh, because you're just stuck not doing much of anything now that I've got this base pretty much sorted. I can't really get more dupes out of there. So let's do another Tim Shift plate made out of obsidian. And wait for this to go off again. Huh? It is not analyzed yet, but we've got some rising pressure. Oh, never mind, you already got it. Set the tungsten. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And that just puts some super hot tungsten here. How can I sweep that? I'm trying to think of how I can get an auto sweeper in there and cool the auto sweeper down. Because even thermium has an overheat temperature. Oh god, the saves. See, so yeah, 975, and this stuff is a thousand. Whatever, we'll leave it there for now. We'll amass a big pile of it, then figure out what to do with it. Oh, my plants have almost lived. Oh, I think I'm gonna call that good. The, you should be just about done mining. Oh yeah. We've got power, we're just about set up for food on that base. You we can now enable, because oxygen's coming back. This is why you don't have them gasp. They just stop for a you know, tenth of a cycle to do nothing. Dump all that out. So thank you all very much for watching. It's definitely been a longer playthrough, and I'm trying to focus on, you know, Individual pieces, even in the late game, you still got to build a base, you need filtration material. Like, all this stuff is just kind of part of playing the game. And even late game, when you've got all the stuff, you still got to go through it. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for all the wonderful suggestions. You know, I'm trying to produce better stuff and got some great tips about uh, how to make the thumbnails look. So hopefully you all like it. Anyway, we'll see you next time.